Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at rule sets in Shard Tabletop. This new feature does a few things. For players, it allows them to easily create a character that conforms to a given set of rules. For game masters, it allows them to create a campaign that uses those same rules. And for Shard developers, it allows them to distribute a rule set that defaults these types of settings for gameplay experiences. On the home page, rule sets appear in the top right section with any campaigns you might be in. In this example, you can see I have an SRD only rule set. You can click on it to make that rule set active. Now, you might notice that a few of my books disappeared from my library when this rule set became active. You can click the gear icon to see the settings for this rule set, and we'll look at why that might happen. Now, this rule set's pretty simple. Basically, it enables an extension, also called SRD only, and selects some packages by default. Because the packages are selected, only those packages appear in the library and references sections. In this case, it's limiting those to the Shard Tabletop Player's Guide. Let's close out and take a look at how this rule set's created. For most players, rule sets are only displayed when they're created as extensions. You can see the SRD only template here. Developers can also create extensions and include them with their packages, which allows them to show for players who purchase their products. For a template to show as a rule set, the rule set template option has to be selected. This then allows packages to be selected and to limit what is available for characters and campaigns based off this extension. If you click on the selected packages, you can see that only the shard base books are selected here. This template also has some content selected in the disallowed content section. In this case, it's disallowing backgrounds and feats that are only included in the shard tabletop, but are not part of the base SRD content. Now, because this is a template, developers can also include any additional features that they might want to make part of this rule set. Skills can be added or removed, additional languages can be specified, and features can be added as character options. This allows a lot of functionality for game masters. Let's create a character for this rule set. The options for character creation will be limited to those available in the selected packages and further restricted by any disallowed content. So when selecting a background, you can see the only available option right now is Acolyte, which is only one available in the SRD. Now that the character has been created, it shows in the My Characters section and has the rule set shown as the campaign assigned. Only characters that work for this rule set are shown when the rule set is active. This makes it easier for players to create characters for a specific setting or ones that will work for a given Game Master's rule sets, even if the campaign hasn't been created yet. Speaking of campaigns, when starting a new campaign, you'll have the ability to use a rule set as a template that will default all the campaign settings based off that template. You can also select any templates that are configured as rule set templates or any existing campaigns that you might want to copy the content. Now, this one is a fairly simple example, but let's take a look at how powerful this can be. If we switch over to my Game Master account, you'll notice that we also have the option to create a new rule set on the fly. Again, you can base this on an existing template, a rule set, or a campaign. This allows Game Masters to set up rule sets that allow specific sets of packages and player options. The My Default rule sets includes multiple extensions that customize the player experience, as well as specific packages and contents that are allowed or excluded. If you start a character for this rule set, you can see that the sheet includes some extra choices. Additionally, it includes several clickable actions. Different combinations of extensions in different rule sets can customize character sheets for different uses. This can range from a simple SRD only game to a specific campaign setting like the Forgotten Realms, swapping features to include your favorite Unearthed Arcana, even replacing rules to run a science fiction setting like Alligator Alley's Esper Genesis or the Cthulhu Mythos from Peterson Games. As you can see, different rule sets provide widely different experiences for characters and campaigns. Simple or complex, using rule sets can save time and create a consistent experience for players and game masters alike. Check out rule sets and join us on the Shard Tabletop Discord server if you have any questions. Until next time!